Figuring out the best way to eat a grapefruit can be confusing. Do you need to learn some fancy new skill to be able to get at that delicious flesh? Or can you just peel it and eat it like an orange? Today, I'm gonna go over five different ways that you can cut and eat a grapefruit. Plus, I'll discuss the pros and cons of each method, and I'll let you know which one is my personal favorite. All right, let's dive in. Method number one is the one that I grew up with, and so I'll call it the classic method. My dad loves grapefruit, and this is the way that he ate it. So all you're gonna do is cut a grapefruit in half, and then you just scoop out the flesh with a spoon. Now, as you can see, when you cut a grapefruit in half, there are these little sections that are divided by a membrane. Now, you can just dig in there with a spoon to scoop out the flesh, but it's actually a lot easier to scoop out if you take a knife and you run it around each section before you scoop it out. So you just go around each section with your knife, and then when you go in there with your spoon, it will just pop right out. Now, instead of a knife, you can use a grapefruit spoon for this method if you already own one. My dad would always sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top of the grapefruit before eating it, but I personally don't find that necessary. I think that a grapefruit is plenty sweet all by itself. This method is great if you're just fixing a grapefruit for yourself, but it's a bit time consuming if you want to mass prepare grapefruit. But some other advantages to this method is it's pretty clean, it doesn't create a big mess, it doesn't require a cutting board, and there isn't a lot of waste of the flesh of the grapefruit. All right, so method number two, I'll call the eat it like an orange method. So all you do is take your knife and you run it along all around the grapefruit, and then you rotate it and then you make another slice all the way around the grapefruit and just make sure that you're not cutting down all the way into the flesh of the grapefruit because that can make it harder to take off the peel. All right, now you just get your fingers in there and remove the peel. And then you're going to insert your fingers and you're gonna break the flesh into individual sections. So we'll just peel off sections like this. And then you've got these little sections, a lot like the section of an orange. And then you can just eat it like this. The advantage of this method is that it's really quick and easy and it results in zero waste of the flesh. But I personally find that the membrane around the sections of a grapefruit are more tough than an orange and they can be more difficult to chew. But it is still edible this way. Method number three, I like to call the rising sun because it looks kind of like a rising sun. Anyway, turn your grapefruit on the side and cut it into slices. Now stack up the slices and cut each of the slices in half. Now grab one of your slices and take your knife and run it all the way around along the peel, making sure to remove all of that pithy white stuff. And there you have a little rising sun. The advantage of this method is it's fairly quick to cut and it's really pretty for presentation purposes. But you aren't removing any of the membrane, so you're still having to eat that part but I find that it's easier to chew than the eat it like an orange method for some reason. I suppose because you're not having to tear into the membrane with your teeth. And somehow it seems juicier than method number two. Okay, method number four. I call this the undressing method because it's kind of like taking the flesh out of its little membrane coat. All right, go through the first steps of the eat it like an orange method. Now take one of the sections and poke your knife into the membrane. Remove the knife and then stick your finger in there and start tearing the membrane away from the flesh. See, it's a bit like undressing it. Make sure to remove the membrane from the back of the section as well. This can be kind of frustrating, but you don't want to eat that, trust me. The advantage to this method is that you get rid of that tough membrane so you don't have to chew it. Also, there's very little waste because you're getting in there with your hands and picking everything out. But it is time consuming and the sections don't end up looking very pretty. Method number five, I like to think of as the pro method because it's my personal favorite. All right, I'll just make some room here. Okay, so first of all, you're going to cut off both ends of your grapefruit and make sure that you can clearly see the flesh after you cut off the slice. 
If you don't see the flesh clearly, you have to make a bigger cut. Okay, flip the grapefruit over, set it down on your cutting board, and then take a sharp knife and run it between the peel and the flesh, going from top to bottom and following the curve of the grapefruit as best that you can. And repeat that all the way around. If you still have some of this white pithy stuff around the outside, make sure to cut that off too. Now here's where it gets kind of technical, so watch closely. Run your knife along one side of a membrane, then along the other side, and pop out that section of flesh. Repeat that same process for the second section. Now you have enough room to get a rhythm going. Slide your knife along one edge of a membrane, and instead of lifting your knife and going along the other edge, you can just turn your knife and go back up the membrane instead of down the membrane. This is faster than lifting your knife out each time. And then just repeat that for the remaining sections. And once you practice this, you can get uh, pretty fast at it. I like this method because it's pretty quick and you remove all of that tough membrane so it's a dream to eat. Ugh, a bowl of this is amazing. But this method does leave some of the flesh in the membranes and on the peels. However, you can just squeeze out the peels and the membranes and you can just drink the juice or you can actually use the juice in salad dressings. So that's five ways you can slice a grapefruit. Let me know in the comments which method is your favorite or which one of these methods you're going to try out. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing for more food videos. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.